boundless theater of the universe. Our solar system performs a grand ballet of celestial bodies. Each planet orbiting our life-giving star tells a tale of formation, evolution, and unique phenomena. Can you imagine the secrets these worlds hold? Today, we embark on a journey to unveil some of these mysteries. Thank you for watching. Sit back and enjoy. Our first stop is Mercury. Mercury is a terrestrial or rocky type planet and it was named after the Roman messenger of the gods. Fittingly, it races around the sun faster than any other planet. On average, Mercury lies a mere 57.9 million kilometers or 35.98 million miles from our star. Mercury completes its orbit in just 88 Earth days. Can you imagine a year that short? Despite its swift year, a day on Mercury lasts a whopping 176 Earth days due to its leisurely rotation. This small rocky planet has a diameter of 4,879 kilometers or 3,032 miles, making it the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury has very little atmosphere, just a thin exosphere, mostly composed of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. Here, temperatures soar to 430 degrees Celsius, or 806 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, and plummet to a chilling minus 180 degrees Celsius, or minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit at night. With gravity, just 0.38 times, or 38% of Earth's. A person who weighs 68 kilograms, or 150 pounds on Earth, would weigh approximately 26 kilograms, or 57 pounds on Mercury's surface. Imagine feeling just 38% of your weight. This planet stands alone, without the company of moons or rings. A solitary sphere in the vastness of space. Mercury reminds us of the stark beauty that can exist in the most inhospitable corners of our solar system. Leaving the battered surface of Mercury, we glide towards Venus, the next terrestrial type planet on our journey. Venus orbits the Sun at an average distance of 108.2 million kilometers, or 67.2 million miles. Venus is enshrouded in a thick, toxic atmosphere, a stark contrast to its neighbor. Venus spins slowly in the opposite direction to most planets, with its sun rising in the west and setting in the east. Its year lasts 225 Earth days, while a single day surpasses its year, taking 243 Earth days to complete a single rotation. Venus is nearly the twin of Earth in size with a diameter of 12,104 kilometers, or 7,521 miles. But don't let its size fool you. Venus is a world of extremes. The atmosphere, rich in carbon dioxide, traps in heat, creating a surface temperature averaging 465 degrees Celsius, or 869 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. Gravity on Venus is 0.91 times, or 91% of Earth's. Our hypothetical 68 kilogram, or 150 pound traveler, would feel slightly lighter on Venus, weighing in at 62 kilograms, or 136.5 pounds. Venus stands devoid of moons and rings, another solitary beauty in the solar sky. Now we return home to Earth, the cradle of life, a blue jewel where water flows with air to breathe. Our planet is also a terrestrial or rocky type planet, and it orbits the sun at an average and comfortable distance of 149.6 million kilometers, or 93 million miles, with a year spanning 365.25 days and a day lasting 24 hours. Earth's diameter measures 12,756 kilometers or 
926 miles across. Our atmosphere, a blend of nitrogen and oxygen, sustains a diverse tapestry of life. Temperatures here average a comfortable 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Gravity here is the standard we are using to measure all others with a value of one. Accompanying Earth on our voyage through space is our lone but faithful satellite, the Moon, a constant companion in our celestial dance. No rings encircle our planet, but the Moon's phases have guided humanity for millennia. Next, our journey takes us to Mars, the Red Planet, a beacon of exploration and wonder. Mars is the last of the terrestrial or rocky planets before we venture out to the giants. Mars is farther from the Sun at an average distance of 228 million kilometers or 142 million miles with a year lasting 687 Earth days and a day just over 24 hours. Mars's diameter is 6,779 kilometers or 4,212 miles. Its thin atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide, allows for dramatic temperature swings from minus 153 degrees Celsius or minus 243 degrees Fahrenheit to 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Gravity on Mars is 0.38 times or 38% of Earth's, so our traveler would weigh about 26 kilograms or 57 pounds on Mars. Mars boasts two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, remnants of the solar system's chaotic past. No rings encircle Mars, but its moons whisper tales of a dynamic history. As we leave Mars behind, we venture beyond the asteroid belt to the outer realms of our solar system, where the gas and ice giants reside. Behold Jupiter, the colossal guardian of the solar system, a planet so immense it could fit all the other planets inside it. Jupiter is a gas giant type planet that orbits the Sun at a staggering average distance of 778 million kilometers or 483 million miles. Jupiter's year spans almost 12 Earth years, while its day whirls by in just under 10 hours, giving this mighty world the shortest day in the solar system. Jupiter's diameter stretches 139,820 kilometers or 86,880 miles across. Its atmosphere, a swirling tapestry of hydrogen and helium, is home to the Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth itself. The average temperature on Jupiter is around minus 145 degrees Celsius or minus 229 degrees Fahrenheit. Gravity on Jupiter is a mighty 2.52 times that of Earth's. Our traveler, weighing 68 kilograms or 150 pounds on Earth, would feel the crushing weight of about 171.46 kilograms or 378 pounds on this gas giant. With no solid surface to stand on, our traveler would be swallowed by Jupiter's swirling gases and liquids below. Jupiter is a planetary system unto itself, with 80 to 95 moons and counting. Among these are the four large Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Some of Jupiter's moons are in scientists' radar for possibly containing the conditions for life. Europa is one of such moons. Jupiter also possesses a faint ring system, a ghostly echo of its ringed neighbor. Next up on our journey is Saturn. The ringed maestro conducts a symphony of celestial beauty with its iconic rings. Like Jupiter, Saturn is also a gas giant type planet. At a distance of 1.4 billion kilometers, or 886 million miles, Saturn takes 29.4 Earth years to orbit the Sun, with a day lasting just over 10.7 hours. 
This giant has a diameter of 120,536 kilometers, or 74,897 miles. Its atmosphere, primarily hydrogen and helium, blankets a core shrouded in mystery. Saturn's average temperature is around minus 140 degrees Celsius, or minus 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Gravity on Saturn is slightly more than Earth's, at 1.08 times. Our 68 kilogram, or 150 pound traveler, would weigh 73.48 kilograms, or 162 pounds, amidst Saturn's clouds. Once again, our traveler would be swallowed by the swirling gases and liquids of this gas giant, with no solid surface to stand on. Saturn's crown jewel, its rings, are composed of countless particles of ice and rock, glittering like diamonds as they reflect the sunlight. These chunks vary in size, from a speck of dust to the size of mountains. With 146 moons and counting, Saturn currently has the most moons of any planet in our solar system. Among these moons is the enigmatic Titan. Saturn's realm is rich with exploration potential, with many moons of varying conditions, some of which may even be suitable for life. Next, we arrive at Uranus, the sideways spheroid, an ice giant type planet that is tilted on its side. Its average distance from the sun is a frigid 2.9 billion kilometers, or 1.8 billion miles, and it takes 84 Earth years to complete one Uranian year, with a day lasting just over 17 hours. Uranus measures 51,118 kilometers, or 31,763 miles in diameter. Its atmosphere, laced with hydrogen, helium, and methane, gives it a pale blue hue. The average temperature of Uranus is around minus 195 degrees Celsius, or minus 319 degrees Fahrenheit. Gravity here is 0.89 times that of Earth's, making our 68 kilogram or 150 pound traveler's weight 60.5 kilograms or 133.5 pounds on Uranus. Although Uranus is an ice giant, which is a subcategory of gas giant, it still has no truly solid surface to stand on. Anyone or anything would slowly sink into a churning mix of liquid and gas. Uranus boasts 28 known moons and a complex ring system, less prominent than Saturn's, but still fascinating nonetheless. Finally, we reach Neptune, the distant wanderer, an ice giant type planet that possesses the most ferocious winds in the solar system. Neptune orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 4.5 billion kilometers, or 2.8 billion miles, taking 165 Earth years to complete one Neptunian year, with a day lasting 16 hours. Neptune's diameter is 49,528 kilometers, or 30,775 miles. Its atmosphere, rich in hydrogen, helium, and methane cast a deeper blue shadow in the solar system. Neptune's average temperature is around minus 200 degrees Celsius or minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Gravity on Neptune is 1.14 times that of Earth's and our 68 kilogram or 150 pound traveler would weigh 77.56 kilograms or 171 pounds on this windy world. Neptune is accompanied by 14 known moons and six rings, each a whisper of the planet's dynamic history and the gravitational dances that shape them. Our voyage through the solar system has taken us from the searing surface of Mercury to the icy reaches of Neptune. Each planet, many with their own moons and rings, tells a unique story of the cosmos. As we gaze back at the sun, a mere point of light from the edge of our solar system, we are reminded 
with the vastness of space and the endless possibilities that await us. This has been a journey of discovery, a testament to our enduring quest to understand the universe and our place within it. Keep exploring, stay curious, and let's look forward to the many discoveries that await us across the cosmos. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about our solar system. If you did, feel free to show your support with a thumbs up or by sharing this video with someone else who may enjoy it. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.